The name Sushruta embellishes the walls of the Welcome Library, along with those of other great innovators in medicine and science. He was a surgeon who lived 2,000 years ago in what is now India. Sushruta and his group were doing operations 2,000 years ago that were absolutely stunning. I mean, you'd think it was science fiction if we weren't sure historically that it was really that old. Uh, they were performing surgical uh, operations that weren't discovered in Europe for another 1,500 years. Sushruta's original manuscript is long lost. This copy deals with many aspects of medicine, but it's best known for its instructions on the surgical repair of a severed nose. The need for Indians to develop surgery uh, in this ancient time probably came from punishments uh, that were inflicted on, on uh, criminals who might have had their noses cut off as, as, a, as a very public warning and as a punishment. The severing of an enemy's nose has been a Hindu practice through the ages. The injury was bad enough, but trying to repair it 2,000 years ago would have been, for the patient, a most grisly affair. Today, modern anesthetics make a nose reconstruction bearable. Jonna Ludwig will not feel a thing. We cleaned up the defect and it's a little torn up. Even though the technology gap is vast, the method Dr. Menick will use to repair Jana's nose is a direct adaptation of the Indian surgeon Sushruta's 2,000-year-old technique. We created a little three-dimensional bent foil pattern of the missing skin. Dr. Menick has made a template to guide his scalpel when he cuts donor skin from Jana's forehead. Sushruta so basically did the same thing. They made a pattern of a leaf placed it on the forehead, and then cut out an area of skin corresponding to what they thought needed to be replaced. Sushruta's manuscript is concise on how to do the job. So what he actually says in his own words from about 2,000 years ago is this. When a nose has been cut off, I shall describe to you properly how it can be repaired. First, you take the leaf from a tree and make a template the same shape as the nose. Place it on the cheek and cut from the cheek a piece of skin the same shape as the leaf. Work carefully, but swiftly. In an age where there is no anesthetic, working quickly is very important because your patient is likely to be screaming. Um, in fact, most of these surgical texts, uh, the anesthetic is for strong men to hold the patient down. Cutting skin from the cheek was not the end of the agony. Then he scarifies the nose, that is to say, the stump where the nose was gets uh, scratched and made bloody and ready to receive new tissue. And then this new, new piece of uh, skin cut from the side of the face is, is attached to this scarified area. To complete the operation, Sushruta devised a way to allow the patient to breathe. Two tubes made of reed were inserted into the new nose. It was all held together by tight bandages until the skin grew into place. Uh, Sushruta ends by saying, the physician who can do this, who knows this technique, is fit to repair, uh, to work on a king. Ya eva eva jani yat sa rajnya kartum arhati. He is uh, worthy to uh, perform on a king. Sushruta's surgical innovation has influenced medicine through the ages. His techniques were adopted by travelers and taken west. The compendium that Sushruta created was well known in India. And 
it isn't until about the seventh or eighth century of the Christian era that we begin to hear um, that it's known in the Middle East and that there are Arabic translations of this work.